So a little bit earlier in this course, we discussed how Bitcoin fueled the explosion of the dark web because people finally had a way to pay for things online anonymously. Uh, they didn't have to use their PayPal or credit card, which links to them directly. So Bitcoin is really kind of what enabled the use of the dark web to become so popular. So if you don't know what Bitcoin is already, Bitcoin is a decentralized cryptocurrency, which means it's not physical money, it's used on the internet. Uh, it's used in almost all dark web transactions and it is more anonymous than any other form of payment. However, if someone says Bitcoin is completely anonymous, uh, they'd be wrong in that sense. It's not completely anonymous, but compared to using your credit card or PayPal, it's far better. Bitcoin does have a highly volatile pricing range though, so it is hard to kind of invest in Bitcoin or use it for a while because the prices can go up and down by hundreds of dollars in the same week. So before you go online and use Bitcoin, it's important to know some popular terms and phrases surrounding the cryptocurrency. To start, you'll need to learn what a wallet is. And a wallet is just a method of storing Bitcoins for later use. Obviously, like a regular wallet, you put your money in, same thing, but it's a digital wallet, it's not a physical wallet. And an address is a key used to send and receive Bitcoin. This key is alphanumeric and contains characters or can be a QR code. And obviously, this is like your IP address or home address. It's the same idea. It's an address given directly for a wallet, and anyone can send or receive money from that address. And then you have a Bitcoin ATM, which these are locations that allow you to buy Bitcoin with cash, which is important for some people to remain anonymous. And then you have the blockchain, which is a full list of blocks that have been mined since the beginning of the cryptocurrency. The blockchain also provides a transaction database. So if Bob gave two Bitcoins to Joe, you know, that would be on the blockchain and in the ledger. So it would be understandable. And then you have BTC, which stands for Bitcoin and mining, which is the act of generating new Bitcoin by solving cryptographic problems by using computer hardware. You may have a basic understanding of what Bitcoin is. However, Bitcoin's pretty confusing when you get down to it because it's a very complex system using the Internet. So if you'd like to learn more about Bitcoin, there is a guru guide to Bitcoin on darkwebacademy.com and you can go there and take that course to learn exactly how Bitcoin works and a lot more when it comes to wallets, addresses, the blockchain, mining, and all things like that.